Is this the return of Tor Tuesday? No. But while I was building a park completely made up out of squares during last Saturday's livestream, I was reminded that I actually also, once upon a time, built a park made completely out of hexagons. And by once upon a time, I mean the 7th of July, 2019 so that was quite a while ago it was right before i started my channel i posted this on reddit but i never actually did a tour tuesday for it i do remember that i recorded it so i'm having major deja vus but i've never uploaded it on the channel so you've never seen this park but it is quite a cool park actually when you look at it like this i could also call it my honeycomb park but i've called it nublar hex which uh, sounds way more dramatic than it actually is. Now, this is a pretty old park, so it's it's not perfect. It, it, it has some things that I don't quite understand looking back at it. Like, I wouldn't do this stuff anymore, and I don't know why I did the path like this. I don't know why I didn't just fill in this point. Like, yeah, it was nice. I was probably just blown away by... Uh, the scenery items, which were quite novel at the time. Uh, so, mm, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice park. Now for this tour, we're not going to visit like every single hexagon, every single exhibit. I just want to do a quick overview, which I hope will inspire you to try something like this yourself. Now, like I said, I've also been building a square park on the channel, which... Um, you can see part of the live stream build of that on the channel and you'll be seeing it as a tour as well shortly. Well, actually not shortly. It's gonna, it's gonna take a while. Um, I also might want to do like a park made fully out of circles. You know, we'll, we'll make it a whole series of shapes. It'll be, it'll be spectacular, spared no expense. But this is the hexagon uh, park. Now hexagons are a little bit more of a challenging shape to make than uh, let's say an octagon for example. But it had to be a hexagon so it could all fit together like this. Is it paused? Oh I think it's in slow motion. I was like yeah it's in slow I was looking at that Starago like what are you doing? Are you drunk? <laughs> it's in slow motion. There you go okay. Now, I already did a tutorial on how to make basic shapes, including how to make hexagons. And we will be revisiting that video at the end of this video. And I feel like it's going to be quite amusing since I did that video a very long time ago. I think it's uh, one of the very first videos on this channel. So, oh, I just hit the microphone, but I think he deserved it. Uh, it was back when, let's say, I was like a little bit dead inside. You'll see what I mean. We'll, we'll visit that video and I'll show you how to make a hexagon. So you can make a park like this if you so desire. Or, you know, just like uh, a small version of it. A couple of hexagons, whatever you want. Now, as I said, I have also been working on a square park. I might also make a park based only of circles. Maybe we'll even do triangles at one point. We'll see. Anyway, uh, here you go. Uh, this was also, I think, uh, before some things were made available. It's definitely, if we go over here, it's from before the uh, Raptor Skin Squad Pack collection thing. So we still have the uh, we still have the old school Raptors running about, or well, they're they're more walking now. They're quite relaxed. Um, so uh, that's that reason. Also, I don't think there's sand here. Is there sand on Nublar nowadays? I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've been here. Anyway, this is the first hexagon as a guest area. We have um, two viewable exhibits, I could say. So we have this one. This is Metri and Herrera. You can just see them over there. And the Herrera it, through the trees. Oh, there he is. Oh, is he coming over the hill? Is he going to crest the hill? It's going to be quite epic. Or nothing's gonna happen and it's going to be quite boring. I'm so sorry for wasting your time on that. Uh, this one they can't really see from here. And we have this exhibit with um, Stegosaurus and Procerado. Yeah, there you go. Little Procerado through the river. Oh, there are actually a lot of them. Colorful bunch. Uh, guests can hop onto the monorail. 
um, employees, they get off over here, they uh, they work in the hatcheries. I could not fix hexagons in here, so I went with triangles instead. Uh, the guests continue on to the next hexagon, which is this one. Uh, we have, let's see, we have three exhibits connected to this one. First one over here is, if my memory serves me well, it it's Sukuminus. I think it's Sukuminus. There's a fish feeder, so odds are increasing that... Hello? What's in here? What's in here? I mean, we all know how bad my memory is. Maybe there's... Oh, yeah, there you go! There you go! I was right! Oh my god, I'm quite proud of myself. I'm quite chuffed. Okay, so we have Sukuminus in here. Then in this one, where a tour starts, we have Spinosaurus, as you can see, over here. And Spinoraptor as well, I could already hear them. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Here! Here, boy! Seriously, where are you? Oh, there they are! Uh, one of my favorite dinosaur combinations, Spinoraptor and Spinosaurus. Don't do this in campaign! Um, Spinoraptor will murder your Spinosaurus. They are so badass. I honestly, I love the Spinoraptor so, so much. Seriously, if you're on the fence about whether or not to buy Dr. Wu's DLC, um, I feel like that dinosaur or that hybrid alone is kind of worth it. Over here we have our little tadpoles. Our little uh, taiga... Oh, Jesus Christ, that, that genuinely scared me. <laughs> our taiga Deinonychus. And we have our Carnotaurus. With, with the... I don't use this skin quite often, but I do like it, because it, it's reminiscent of, you know... Oh, he snapped at the Deinonychus, that was kind of cool. It's reminiscent of, you know, the camouflage ability that they were uh, they were given in the second book. Unfortunately, that never came to fruition for the Carnos... Oh, my keyboard just stopped working. There you go. That never came to fruition uh, for the Carnos in the franchise, but of course we did get the camouflaging... Indominus. Now, I guess continue over to the next section. They fly or drive or zoom over the Carcharodontosaurus exhibit. Uh, he's gonna have a little a little nap by his uh, by his food. There we go. We shall continue with speed. And they arrive at this section over here. Uh, these exhibits aren't perfectly hexagonal. Is that a word? It's a word now. We have uh, Ankylosaurus. I think just Notosaurus and Ankylosaurus. And over here we have Tracorex and Stiggies. No, no Packy, no Packy, no. Oh God, oh God, we just became one with the Stiggy. Oh. Okay, so we have uh, these guys running about over here. Then we have just a nice little walkway up to the uh, the central hexagon where we have the innovation center, and this central. Um, public square it branch uh, it's a hexagon it's a public hexagon i know i you know blame the english language not me they decided to name a public square after a shape it's not my fault okay <laughs> hashtag not my fault uh so this branches off into several hotels i think i'm guessing five that would make sense and um are you gonna give us a roar darling are you both going to Go ahead, show off. Our lovely, lovely Cerrados. I think I built this park pretty shortly after um, the viewing radius on the hotels became a thing. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Dude, you're not even looking. What are you doing? What are you doing? The view's over there. I'm confused. I don't know what you mean. Are you talking to yourself? Oh my god! What is wrong? At least he's taking a selfie. He has... There you go. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I don't think that's your best ca uh, angle, love. <laughs> I don't know. It's awkward when they make eye contact. There you go. Is he gonna make a selfie now? It's like... Um, one by one? No? No, he's... Uh, no, I'm still confused. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Let's just imagine he has like a Bluetooth earpiece in or something. But this is... Like, this is pretty cool as, as far as views go. That's kind of cool. You know, until that explodes, then it's it's not so cool anymore. But what are you pointing at? Dude. Yeah. Oh, she didn't like the first selfie? Sure, let's take a selfie with this as the backdrop. Instead of, you know, the actual volcano on a dinosaur island. Oh, we did a barrel roll. I'm so sorry, I do that quite often. Like, at this point, 
Um, letters cease to be much of a thing on my keyboard. They've all worn off. Uh, let's just continue. I think I'm still quite zoomed in. I've never noticed this before. I've never noticed this before. Oh my god, it's like it's like an awakening. It's like a discovery. I'm gonna take a snapshot of that. I've never noticed that there was a Spinosaurus skull over here. That's very cool. Very nice touch. Now just, you know, make this a placeable individual object and you know, you're gonna you're gonna tick a box for us. It's quite easy, I think. We're still not entirely Is this is this straight? Mine. Here you go. Uh, so this is the raptor exhibit over here. I do, I do really like having uh, having the hotels just in the middle of an exhibit. It's actually one of my uh, exhibit tips from uh, that video. I just think it's, I think it looks really nice. It looks really immersive. And if I were a guest at a dinosaur park and I'd be spending it, I'd I'd want that. I'd want that. Anyway, let's just continue. Let's not crash into a building though. That's frowned upon. Uh, so here we have Lord Titan. What's up? Oh, we have an acro. Hey, boy. I don't know why I sometimes decide that they're boys. Like, it's not even up to me to decide. I'm pretty, And I'm pretty sure they're all supposed to be female. This is, like, beautiful. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Sorry. Oh, my God. I'm such a child. I just had dinner, and I always feel quite energized after I just had dinner. Um... But we shall move on as our guests would. I'm still quite zoomed in. There you go. Uh, so they go over here. And this is like a huge exhibit just along the edge with a tour going through. Uh, so they can get a view from the mod. Look at that. That's a pretty nice view. So they get this view. Oh, can we see the people on the rooftop? No, it's just the plants. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. It would have been cool to see the people. Uh, yeah, so this is just a big exhibit with a tour going through. We have, it looks like only herbivores, pentaceratops, diplodocus, I see iguanodon, um, uh, gigantspinosaurus. No, that's Huayangosaurus. Where's, wait, what? No, I'm confused. No, that's Huayangosaurus, right? Oh, but we do have... I was so confused. <clears throat> I was so confused. Okay. <laughs> I knew that there were again Spinosaurus in here. And I was like, wait, no. No, wait. Your spine is not big enough. What's going on? Uh, let's just move on and forget that. I don't know anything about dinosaurs. <laughs> here we see the uh, the T-Rex over here in this exhibit. Now rem remember, this is all before Return to Jurassic Park. So it's still the old skins. And we go into the final guest area. This has a view of the of the T-Rex exhibit. You know, she has like this little mountain or hill. Quite quite cool. She's content. Um, here we just look. This is the acro exhibit around the hotel. And over here we have another big exhibit with sauropods. And I think... Oh, we have a little uh, Uoplocephalus in here as well. I think there's a carnivore in here as well, actually. I don't quite remember, but you know, we have uh, we have the Brachy, we have the Dreadnoughtus. Pretty sure there's Mementi. There you go. We have Mementi. We have Diplodocus. Honestly, I I think there was supposed to be a carnivore in here. Maybe I've misremembered. Maybe I've misplaced him. Maybe I've lost him. Maybe I'm stuck inside a tree. Oh, there you go. Oh, Majungasaurus. Look at that. That's quite surprising because if you know my channel you know that this actually is one of my least favorite carnivores but there you go i did use him wow how fair of me okay so uh, that is that is essentially the park i'm gonna fly up one more time um There you go, so this is Hexagon Park, or Nublar Hex, as, uh, as I like to call it. Uh, I will quickly show you how to make hexagons, and we'll also laugh at how I used to sound in videos. Okay, folks, here we go. Old video, spilling Jurassic World Evolution secrets, how to work with the path and fence tool. L let's just listen and look at this. I mean, as a tutorial goes, it's, it's still decent. It still holds up. The techniques, you know, they didn't change, but... This this is gonna be interesting. Um, let's just let's just do it. Hold on. Let me. Th maybe I need to up the sound a little bit. Now a hexagon. 
might seem a little bit more challenging. I did get a lot of responses when I posted my hexagon park, which was that's the park <laughs> fully out of hexagon shapes. I meant post it on but Reddit. It's actually, not that difficult. Not I'm that difficult. Again. So two lengths. Go to the center. And this path that we're placing right now is just a placeholder. It's just to help us get the angles right for the next part. So go up from the center of those two points. And then you have three positions that are easy to get the path into. You have the snap at the very center. But you have two <laughs> more. You have this position, which is as close to this top fence, uh, top path as it wants to get. I can't get it any closer. No, we can see that, darling. And the same goes for this bottom one. I can't get it any closer. And that's actually the perfect angle for our hexagon. So now we can delete our placeholder. I should have said that it has to be maximum path right length. There. And now because you've already placed that first uh, fence, it goes straight across. Again, maximum length. Same here. here. It goes perfectly into the center. And then you connect the outer points again. And you make the wing of a TIE fighter. What you want to be sure of, especially when you're doing circles... Okay, so, okay, that well, uh, that's not it? important. Actually, uh, looking back on it, it's not really so much difficult. You just have to know the technique. You just have to know uh, that very first thing I showed with, like, um, the placeholder uh, path uh, down below. You just have to know how you can get it into that perfect angle. And then from there on, it's really easy. You can just, um, you know, get the uh, get the second one straight across from the first. You make an X and from there on, like like I said, you make, you make the wing of a TIE fighter. That's all you do. In any case, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this tour. I hope this tutorial snippet was helpful to you. This old ass tutorial. And if you want more stuff like this, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell so you don't miss an upload, and leave a comment down below about, you know, what your next project in Jurassic World Evolution is going to be. For now, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, enjoy the game.